Hi everyone. I wanted to go over Select Property Solutions mandatory photo requirements. Um, as you've probably heard in previous videos, you are our eyes and ears at these properties. And there, in fact, we need to provide these details to our clients. Um, that helps in a number of ways. It, number one, it helps give them an idea of their asset and their investment and what the condition of the property is in. Um, second of all, it allows us to provide a uh, well-documented bid for, um, uh, for repairs. Um, photos are the way that we get paid for all of our services. You've heard this time and time again, that there are, there's really no such thing as too many photos. So make sure that you keep that in mind and make sure that you are, uh, providing us the necessary pictures on every order. And obviously this goes, uh, in line with all turn repairs or turn bids. Uh, in order again to a for the bid to provide it or to provide photos showing uh, the work that we will need to per, uh, perform, and for every repair, obviously the work that was completed, so we can get paid for the work that we performed. So, we'll go right on uh, right on into it, but um, it's very very simple for those of you that have been in the property preservation uh, estimates and repairs, hazard claims, EOB. Uh, industry uh, for foreclosures, bank industry related, uh, you're going to find that these photos run right along the same line as photos that are required by those clients as well. Um, again, um, for those of you that do not know or do know is that is our uh, history is we came up in this market uh, or in this industry uh, we've been in this business in one way, shape, or form since the 80s. Um, so to give you an idea of the following pictures that are necessary, again, for those of you that may have not have been in that industry, is uh, we always start every, um, every time we go to a property with the exterior photos. Um, we want to show, A, the curb appeal, but we want to show the conditions on the exterior of the property. Um, we want to take a picture of the street sign. Uh, that's going to show that we're on the right street, obviously. Um, we're going to show all sides of the exterior of the house. We're going to show the front. We're going to go to the side. And we really would hope that you could take the pictures in a clockwise format that gives us a, a, almost a realistic um, view of the property as we were to walk through the, or walk around the property. So we want a close up of the ad address. We want a close up of the lockbox on the door. We want to show a separate photo of the keys that were in the lockbox as well. And every order you'll have a set of uh, keys um, that or a, a lockbox code that will then allow you to get into the property. Um, Make sure that you are taking pictures of any air conditioning condensing unit uh, on the property. Um, make sure that you're taking pictures of any citations, any notices, any violations on the front door and make sure that those are provided to us as well. Uh, we want a picture of the electrical meter, uh, the gas meter. We, wanna, we want ample photos of the quality of the roof as well. Show the condition of the roof, the front of the roof, the back of the roof, the sides, all of that stuff. You may need to get up to roof level and that's why we always recommend taking a, a, um, a ladder with you to be able to at least get up to the, uh, to the uh, line of sight to be able to see what the quality of that uh, roof is. Make sure you're taking pictures of the gutters, the extensions, uh, the any ex um, any basic basically additional structures on the property, whether it's a uh, detached garage, attached garage, a shed, barns, etc. We want to know all of that and the condition uh, that goes for that. Make sure that you're going inside the uh, additional structures or the exterior structures, um, accessory structures, and make sure that you're noting any conditions of that. Make sure you're taking pictures of the floor of the garage, a picture of the garage door opener, um, if that's applicable. We wanna know whether or not that is um, um, uh, working. So um, we're going to get out of this screen. <laughs> um, 
when you go into the interior of the property, when you go into the house itself, you go in through the front door, let's make sure that we're taking eight to 12 photos per room. I know that sounds like a lot, but what that's going to do is photo document every angle of the room. Uh, we want you to make sure that you're going in clockwise direction again, just like you were on the outside. You're taking pictures of all the walls, all the floors, all the ceilings. Uh, this is going to give us an overall picture of the condition of the ceiling, whether or not there may be any leaks, condition of lighting, a condition of any flooring that's in the property as well. Make sure that you are noting that uh, if there is any damage of any sort. Um, we want us pictures of every sink, every trap uh, in the sink, every, um, uh, and that goes for the baths, the kitchens, the laundries. Make sure that you're taking pictures of every toilet, every faucet, um, we want pictures of the attic if there's attic access as well. That's going to show us a couple of things. Number one, it's going to show us if there's any, any uh, contents left over from the previous tenant, but that's also going to show the condition of the, uh, the decking of the roof to make sure that there a, are, is no, are no roof leaks uh, and B, any other issues, any discoloration, anything like that, that we may be able to note. Uh, we want to make sure that we're taking pictures of basement walls. That's going to show um, discoloration, any issues that we may see structurally, uh, basement floors. Um, we want a picture of the water meter. We want a picture of the main water lines going in. Pictures of the plumbing, whether or not it's intact or not. Uh, pictures of the furnace, handler, A coil, line set if there's an AC uh, or condenser. Um, make sure your central air, make sure that there's a picture of the water heater in there, the top of the water heater showing the connections. We wanna see all of that. Um, picture of the uh, service panel, uh, the, the wires going in if applicable, if it's an unfinished basement, you should be able to provide those to show us that that's, uh, that in fact is intact. If it's not, we wanna make sure that we're bidding appropriately. We wanna make sure that the, the electric, uh, the utilities should always be on in these properties. We wanna make sure that you're noting that as well. Um, if there's a sump pump, please make sure that it is working. We would hate to have any issues um, in any secondary damage caused from a, a non-working uh, sump pump. Same thing goes for dehumidifiers. We wanna show uh, a light on that will show that the electricity is on in the property. And then just a quick note, upon completion of any turn repairs or rehab repairs, you're going to be required to take line by line photos uh, in the order that they appear on the work order um, of the completed repair. So make sure that you're starting right at the top and you just need to provide the documentation showing that the repairs were completed. Again, pictures are our insurance policy to show that the work was completed. Um, we want to make sure that we're showing pictures from the same angle that they were taking on the bid, taken on the bid as well. That's going to show particular landmarks in the house that um, will show proof that the property was repaired. Uh, that was the, the exact property that was repaired in the line item uh, that coincides with that repair. Um, we'll also need a set of marketing photos. In other videos, you've heard me just explain what the marketing photos are. They should reflect the property in a rent ready or marketable uh, condition. Um, on tenant occupied maintenance repair orders that you do receive, we're only going to require a, a front picture of the house itself. So a picture of the front of the house, and then obviously the close up of the address in the completed repair photos. So if it's a maintenance re uh, required item, um, you will get, we will get an order through the portal that will show what the tenant's description of the order is. We'll send that out to you. All you have to do is show us the required items that were needed to be repaired, whether that's in a bid format, if it exceeds the allowable, and if it, if it requires a bid, you'll provide us a bid with those particular uh, uh, required photos that show the damages and what is the extent of the damages and enough photo documentation to support what the bid is for. Um, and then obviously when you do repair or make the repairs once the it is approved, you're going to just do the same thing in those in that order. You're going to take a photo of the front of the house, a close up of the address, and you're going to show the repair that was completed. Um, and again, make sure you're showing ample photos so that we can pay you properly for the work that you um, 
did complete. Again, I hate to always put this disclaimer down, but if you do not have the photos um, that we've stated here, you may be sent back to supply these photos. Multiple trips to a property to provide information you could have got on the initial uh, visit uh, just costs money and time. And let's face it, um, we can't get that time back. It's very valuable. So let's just make sure that we're doing this the proper way. We're not sending out videos. We're not sending out any of those things um, that are unnecessary. Again, recreating the wheel um, isn't necessary in this uh, instance. Please just follow the format of exactly what we're looking for. Those are photos. You can send those in the zip file. Um, and uh, that is going to provide enough ample information to us to provide a proper bid or to provide the information that our clients are requesting. So I hope that that helps you out. Again, these videos are being recorded um, informally for you to use as a resource in order to make you the best version of, of a contractor you possibly can be, best version of a vendor that you possibly could be with Select Property Solutions. We're very excited to have you on board and we look forward to a great partnership. Thanks everybody, have a great day.